Hi my friends, my name is Tim Johnson. I want to share with you today a couple of amazing lessons I've learned this week. You see, the thing about personal growth or growth of any sort, whether you've been in addiction or whether you just want to improve your life, your fitness, be more successful, to grow as a human being and best to be the best version of yourself you can be, then you must constantly learn and always be open-minded. As Wayne Dyer said, be open to everything and attached to nothing. So sometimes it's easy to forget and, uh, you know, that, that we're constantly learning. And sometimes we learn from pain or from discomfort and we learn lessons from that and we grow from that. And other times we learn from other people's examples or example. And this week I've learned from two different people two very important lessons that I thought I knew about, that I preach about on this channel, you know, often. But thanks to these two people, I've learned more about and a much deeper lesson. The first lesson is about gratitude and being in the moment. And it's something I always bang on about on the channel. And it's been very important to me um, in my own growth, if you like, over the last three years. But I learned something very new this week and quite profound. And it was shown to me by someone who came in off the streets in a, into a shelter I volunteer at locally, which is a homeless um, and drug and alcohol drop-in centre. And in the sort of communal room in this centre, there is a, a battered old settee and a really old fashioned television sitting in the corner. And when people come in, we chat with them and um, they, they have a sit down, have a cup of tea and a bite to eat and we can help them wherever we can or offer advice or whatever. And this guy, first time I'd ever seen him, um, was a Scandinavian bloke and he came and he, in, at first time I'd seen him there and he looked pretty worn and pretty battered and he sat down on this battered old settee and the television was sort of droning away in the corner and he sort of floated off into this this little world and I noticed him out of the corner of my eye and he was sitting there and he was just gazing around him and gazing at the television and his arms and hands were rubbing on the settee and I went over to him like, sort of a few minutes later and started to have a chat with him and he was lost in a moment and I said are you okay you know is everything all right and this guy looked at me you know and he's still rubbing his hands on this battered old settee and looking at this and he said it's the it's the, the first time it's the most comfortable seat that i've sat on in in weeks and first time i've seen a television you know of any sort for for ages and you know without going into details on the conversation and, and his situation i thought this guy this is real gratitude and present moment being demonstrated to me here he was absolutely in the moment and savouring the moment of, and feeling the settee around him and the comfort of this settee and being in a, a safe environment and a television, you know, that, we, that was a battered old television, not even a flat screen thing, you know, that, um, that we just take for granted the drones away in the corner. And I just thought we take so much for granted, don't we, you know. And I bang on about gratitude and being grateful for everything, which I truly am, no doubt about it, and being in the moment. But this guy who just walked in off the street demonstrated to me that uh, what being in the moment was about and what real gratitude was about and what we take for granted, that he was literally so thankful for, a comfortable seat, a bit of security, a roof over it, you know, his head, even though it was temporary, a cup of tea, you know, and a little box droning on in the corner and I came away from that day and um, thinking about this deeply and I've learned a deep lesson from that one 
And the other lesson I've learned is um, from a guy who, I suppose you would call him a, a mentor. I've known him for, a, I've only known him for sort of a year or so now. Um, but he's been a sort of profound influence on me, if you like. And he was, uh, 20 years ago, he was a homeless um, homeless person on the streets in deep addiction, injecting heroin, um, real serious problems, alcohol problems, and seemingly no future. And now this man, who is now, is, like I say, is this shining example and a mentor to me, is, um, I think, 17 years odd clean, uh, and now in charge of a, a very good rehabilitation centre uh, the other side of Malaga that I volunteer in and um, we were talking the other day you know and I'm constantly learning from this guy you know he's a shining example because although I'm sort of you know I'm three years in now and I'm, I'm bang on about things on this channel I'm constantly got my eyes and ears I have to keep reminding myself to keep learning and that's what growth is all about and he, he we were talking the other day you know and he said to me um, about hitting the snooze button and it was, we were talking about being the best version of ourselves if you like and he said that um, life is you know it, it's a constant of course it's a constant battle for all of us you know generally so and, and some people are a lot worse off than others but to grow is, is, is you have to be it's a constant tug of war if you like you know, it's no use pushing on the rope, if you like, in a tour. You've got to keep pulling on it hard and put yourself into a bit of discomfort to grow. And he said about hitting the snooze button, he said, put yourself in a situation where you, there's a job, you know, in your past. And there's been a few for me, you know, and I could, I could sort of put myself and visualise this situation. He said, you really want this job, you know, you really want this. And you've got an interview for it, it's your final interview and... So you set yourself up the night before, you know, you, you prepare all your breakfast stuff so it's all ready, for, you know, for you. You um, lay out all your clean, ironed, best clothes. You set your alarm an hour early in the morning so you can get up and you can make your bed and you can have a proper shower, shave, a wash. Look your best, feel your best, eat your best breakfast and, um, and, and, you know, present yourself the best version of yourself, if you like, at this interview. He said, but if you want to constantly keep growing, you know, that's that's fine. What you've done there is, is, is a one off, if you like. But if you want to constantly keep going, you can't hit the snooze button. In other words, you've got to keep doing those things. You've got to be the best version of yourself. You've got to keep putting yourself out of your comfort zone. In other words, you know, it's like, you know, you prepare your breakfast, you set your alarm an hour early so you can meditate or do whatever you're going to do or exercise or go to the gym or go for a walk with your dog or, you know, and you leave yourself enough time to have a proper wash, to iron your clothes properly, to make your bed properly, to eat a proper breakfast, to a nutritious breakfast, to give yourself enough time so you go forward into the day being the best version of yourself you can possibly be. You know, and he said that's a constant thing you're doing every day and you're doing it all day, you constantly challenge yourself. And he said, and that's how after 17 years, I continue to grow, to learn and to be the best version of myself. So remember that, it's a constant tug of war, you know, and you've got to keep pulling, you've got to keep challenging yourself. You don't push against the rope, you keep pulling it. You don't hit the snooze button. You have to constantly put yourself into this little bit of discomfort you know, because we learn from that, we grow from that. You know, you don't sit back and get comfortable and stop learning and hit the snooze button because it's no good. You'll just go backwards and, you, and, and, and your growth and your, your learning will stop. So I just wanted to share those two things with you this morning, um, two really important lessons and just stress to, you know, never stop learning, always be open to everything because we learn from, you know, not just, as I say, from the discomfort, but we learn from other people's examples. And I've constantly got my eyes open, taking inspiration from people who not just mentor me, but are in more humble situations that are doing amazing things and we can constantly learn from. 
So thank you for listening to that. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share the videos, like the videos, just helps more people see them. And once again, seize the day, seize every day, carpe diem, because every day is a gift, because lots of people didn't wake up this morning. You know, and I, I constantly say this, but as soon as I open my eyes in the morning, I smile and say thank you, because I'm, you know, I'm still, a, you know, I'm still alive and I've got another day to learn, to experience, to grow. Thank you for listening. Much love to you all. Have a great day, a great weekend. Bye-bye.